on these lines to represent where Tiger is going to be at impact. Now what's interesting is obviously during the setup it, it's a pretty static position. So you can see Tiger's setup obviously is not moving when he's set up to the golf ball. He might move just before he pulls the club back, but for an instant he's, he's pretty close to being completely static here. What's amazing about a golfer with good dynamics in their golf swing is that their impact position, their backswing, downswing positions are drastically different than their setup positions, which means that a golf swing would have to be very dynamic. Otherwise, it would have to be changing, and that impact position doesn't originate within the system itself by by using that definition. So obviously the system that we're talking about is the golf swing and, and the positions that we're referring to are the setup positions. So you can very clearly see where Tiger's set up here. But what's interesting is the lines that I've drawn actually represent important positions in his impact. So if I told you this red line was going to represent his spine angle at impact, would you believe me? Well, it's true. And these blue lines represent where his the box where his head's going to be at impact and this green line represents where his hips are going to be. So his hips haven't moved a tremendous amount during the downswing but a lot of his body has. So there's no way that you rehearse these positions per se in a static fashion. These are only achieved throughout the dynamic changing forces of the golf swing. So if, as we walk through his golf swing you're going to start to see some pretty amazing events transpire. So as we get to the top of the swing, everything stayed pretty constant here. You know, he's, he's made some hip rotation, a little bit of lat a very small amount of lateral movement, very, very small. So he's moved off that line just a touch more. But now what's amazing is his spine angle still stayed constant. His head stayed about where it was at address. But now watch the dynamics take over. From here, you get that transition move. The transition is the most dynamic motion in all of golf because as the club's still going back, he's starting to settle into his left side. And you can see that if you watch very closely, he's starting to get back into that left side. You can see his legs really starting to power to get his body back going left. A very dynamic motion because at the, at the last instant, his club is actually still traveling backwards as he's moving more into his left side. So now this is where the dynamics really take over. And at this point, everything's uh, it's all set in motion. There's nothing he's going to do to change this. He's simply going to let everything fire through and, th and the dynamics of the golf swing are, are going to take place. So notice how we start to get into that green line with his left hip. His head's moved forward a little bit. It's going to start to actually move backwards. And now that red line at impact right through his belt buckle, right through the center of his chest. So he has changed from where he was at, at address. If we go back there. Now these angles don't seem quite so crazy. And if we do a, an overlay of it as he comes down into impact, you can see just how dynamic this position is. His hands were here at address. And now, oh, excuse me, his arms and his hands.